Okay, so we're inside our Tesla and we're charging at 27 miles an hour, which is 32 amps. That's the most we can do. In other words, if I try to turn this down, it'll go to 30 amps, but then it's only 26 miles an hour. So let's put it back to 32 amps, 27 miles per hour. But what I got to show you is this. It's charging on our new air conditioner charger. In other words, I put a switch on our air conditioner circuit that we're not using in the cold weather or ever at nighttime to go to a um, 30 amp, it's a 30 amp circuit, but if you lift this up, I'll show you. There's a switch on here. One says EV, or did that come off? It looks like that came, oh, it used to say EV or AC. So if I flip this down, it goes to AC, which runs our air conditioner. And if I flip that up, it powers this cord, which goes into our Tesla charger. As you can see the light going on there. And powers our Tesla. I think that's pretty ingenious. I didn't have to run a whole new circuit. I did not use a permit for that. But you could do that. If you have an air conditioner in front of your house and you have room, like we do, you can power your Tesla. That's so awesome. I'm so happy about that. That makes me so happy that it works. This is the first car I've been able to try on. I, I installed that probably six months ago. My kid's in there playing games. Okay, Nora, you can play games. But don't go out the door, okay? Because it'll bang on the wall. Okay. That's so awesome. I'm so happy about that. So when I have family come over, I can be a gracious host and I can charge their car for them while they're visiting. That's pretty darn cool. Okay, so a bit of a little after discussion after charging my mom's car on our new Tesla charger that I thought I was so smart. So the way I have this rigged up is we have six or eight gauge wire going to the air conditioner from the fuse panel. It is a 30 amp circuit. Keep that in mind. That's really important. 30 amp circuit. I've overdid the wires to probably 50 amp and the Tesla is smart enough to test the wiring and can know what to draw. It obviously wants to draw as much as possible. So I have a 30 amp switch, uh, a 30 amp breaker in the house. But what I didn't know is on the back here, there's Stella, shop dog, making her first appearance since being on vacation with grandma, is I put in an extra breaker here. This is a slow blow fuse. Looks like this. This is the removable fuse that goes in there. And I blew the fuse. The car charged fine for about 15 or 20 minutes. But then one of these fuses blew. And if you look closely, I put in 25 amp fuses. See the TR25 there, 25 amp. I should have put in 30. So this was the weak link. One of these fuses blew and it lit up light. So the next time she comes for a family dinner, I'm going to put in 30s and see how that works. So again, the cars are very smart. The lines that come from the uh, main fuse panel are 8 gauge, I believe, which are rated for 50 amp. Unfortunately, this was the weak, weak link and because it's only rated for 25 and I think it's this one blue. So I'm going to get these new bullet uh, fuses, slow blow fuses in a 30 amp flavor and plug that unit back in there. So it was a good test on the system. Uh, it worked good enough for me to know that I need to tweak it a little bit. Stella, welcome back little girl. Everyone's so happy to see you.